Hi guys, in this video I am going to talk about a trading interview question based on mental maths. So these kind of questions are designed to judge your math skills and I mean in these kind of interviews usually you are required to demonstrate your mathematics skills, how fast you can do calculations, how good you are with mental maths, you know uh, whether I mean some of these questions if you saw using pen and paper sometimes the interviewer might not like that or might also you know explicitly tell you that do it without using doing any calculation or something so I mean uh, these kind of questions are actually designed to check whether you are street smart or not I mean that is the slang for it street smart so yeah let's look into what the question is so the question is very simple it's asked that you have to find the number of multiples of 10 raised to power 95 which are also divisors of the number 10 raised to power 98 okay so basically the count of multiples of 10 raised to power 95 which are also divisors of 10 raised to power 98 so if you are appearing for a trading interview uh, you must be already aware what a multiple of divisor is but in case you do not know then i am going to explain it to you so multiples of any number x are basically numbers like like x 2x 3x 4x 5x like so on okay i mean the number x multiplied by an integer so those are basically the multiples of the number x and as you can see like the positive multiples will always be greater than equal to x the multiples of a number x will always be greater than equal to the number x i'm not talking about the negative multiples here we are only concerned with the positive multiples okay similarly a divisor of a number x like you can say a number d is a divisor of x such that d is greater than equal to 1 and less than equal to x and when you divide d by x uh, sorry when you divide x by d the remainder obtained is 0 so as you know that you can write any number like this like the dividend is equal to divisor <coughs> divisor into quotient plus remainder so a number is a divisor of like a number d is a divisor of number x if the remainder left is 0 okay so you can say that a number d is divisor of x if x can be written as d star q plus 0 okay here yeah, like remainder is 0 question is q and divisor is d okay so this is what divisor is and like the important observation here is that divisor is always less than equal to that number x okay i mean if d is a divisor of x, x then it would be definitely less than equal to x now coming back to our original question where we wanted to find the count of numbers uh, which are also multiples of 10 raised to power 95 and also divisors of 10 raised to power 98 so yeah let's see how we can do it so as you can see that all the multiples of number 10 raised to power 95 like if m is a num multiple of 10 raised to power 95 it can be written as m is equal to n into 10 raised to power 95 okay now let's elaborate it i mean you can assume that the number 10 raised to power 98 it should be written as i mean for our original question where we are you know supposed to find whether like the count of divisors of uh, count of divisors of 10 raised to power 98 which are also multiples of 10 raised to power 95 now let's take any multiple m which is of 10 raised to power 95 so if this number is also a divisor of 10 to the power 98 then we should be able to write it like this m star q plus 0 right this is again the same equation which i had written here dividend is equal to divisor into question plus remainder our remainder is 0 and our divisor is m and quotient is q okay now let's uh, so basically this m star q plus 0 can be simply written as m star q okay now let's sub substitute the value of m in this equation now m we know is n multiplied by 10 to the power 95 so you can simply write this as that 10 to the power 95 is equal to n star or let's actually do this let's bring this m on the left side of the equation so you can see that this can be written as this that q is equal to 10 to the power 98 <coughs> sorry for it q is equal to 10 to the power 98 divided by n okay now let's now substitute the value of m in this equation so this equation would now become 10 to the power 98 divided by this n star 10 to the power 95 okay this will be equal to q now we also see here that this 10 to the power 98 and 10 to the power 95 can be cancelled out like the powers 98 and 95 of 10 can be cancelled out and what would we would be left with is 1000 divided by n is equal to q 
so now we know that q is any integer only okay it cannot be a fractional number it cannot be a decimal number it is an integer and and definitely a positive integer so for this equation to be true this n can only assume those values of the numbers which are actually divisors of 1000 itself okay i mean this n can only be divisors of 1000 for this equation to be true because here q is any integer okay so all we are left with is to find the number of divisors of 1000 okay and that would be our answer that would be the count of numbers which are also dip uh, divisors of 10 raised, sorry, multiples of 10 raised to the power 95 and divisors of 10 raised to the power 98. And that is pretty simple. Like uh, to find the number of divisors of any number, I mean, it is also usually taught in maths in class 11 and 12. What you do is that you actually, if you want to find the number of divisors of this 1000, you write 1000 as the, you basically try to express 1000 as its prime factors. Okay, so 1000 can be written as in its prime factors using its prime factors like this 2 raised to power 3 multiplied by 5 raised to power 3. Okay, so basically 1000 can be written as 8 multiplied by 125 and this is how I have written it in terms of its prime factors. So 2 and 5 are prime factors. So by prime factors, I mean that, I mean factors, again factors and divisors are the same thing. That factors of a number are the numbers who actually you know properly divide that particular number i mean they do not leave any remainder and prime factors are only those numbers who are prime numbers as well i mean the factors who are prime numbers as well which are prime number as well so i have written thousand as two raised to power three multiplied by two raised to power five so but you see here that thousand is expressible in two raised like this two raised to power x plus five raised to power x okay sorry five raised to power y now x and y can assume any value between zero one two and three because the highest power of 2 in this equation is 3 and similarly the highest power of 5 in this equation is 3 and this is also true for y as well that y can only assume these values 0, 1, 2 and 3. So this means that the total number of factors or divisors of 1000 are this x basically this the count of these this number multiplied by this number so they are like x can assume four values y can assume four values the total number of divisors of thousand are going to be 16 okay and these 16 divisors i have actually written them here these are these 1 2 4 5 8 10 20 25 40 50 100 125 200 250 500 thousand i mean any of these numbers you can see can can be written as this 2 raised to power x multiplied by 5 raised to power y and the value of x and y will be something between 0 and 3 okay so i mean i'm i tried to explain it uh, using my best possible explanation but i'm not going to dive deep into how i you know how to find the total number of divisors of factors for any number uh, because this is usually taught in class 11 12 you can actually refer your those books i mean this these are pretty common questions in engineering entrance examinations as well and i have used the same concept here the main thing is that we were able to you know reduce our original problem to this particular problem that uh, this equation which we found thousand by n is equal to q q can only be integer so all we are we were left with were to find the number of divisors or factors of thousand okay and we have find it using this concept so I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all next time.